In a day where we'll have easily the warmest weather we've had all year long, including temperatures in the 70s, but also tracking severe thunderstorms, at least in part, this coming afternoon and evening hours. And yes, those two factors are related to one another. Let's go over the thunderstorm part of the forecast as we break out the severe weather outlook scale, a map that's used countrywide. So that's why the scale goes all the way up to a five, but we'll never see a five in our region. Instead, this yellow shaded area, what is considered the slight risk, very reasonable chance for some very strong to severe thunderstorms in these regions, southeastern Washington, the Palouse, the LC Valley, Lewiston, out towards Orofino and Grangeville. Those are the the areas and all the nearby towns and cities that are most likely to see severe weather. As for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, we're in what's considered the non severe category as by the time the storms reach us, the energy should be actually winding down by that time. And in terms of the timing, thinking five to nine or even five to 10 o'clock uh, in terms of when those strongest thunderstorms will be active again in the southern portions of the inland northwest, which means here in Spokane thinking 10 o'clock and later is more likely our opportunity for storms. The strong Longest thunderstorm cells will have some damaging winds, very strong winds overall, and a bit of larger hail as well. Sometimes we see small hail with our spring thunderstorms. Well, this would be large enough to do some kind of damage or like, say, dent the front hood of your car if it's parked outside. If you have a carport or garage, definitely want to use it tonight. Watch the southern portion of the inland northwest as these are the areas where those thunderstorms will be most active, especially after 7 or 8 o'clock in the early evening hours. There's Pullman getting hit at 8 o'clock and then moving into portions of North Idaho at night. You notice that the activity is definitely to our south from the Spokane area. Now, after 9 and 10 o'clock, the energy is going to start to wind down. So any rain or thunderstorms that occur after then will not be of the severe variety, but we are expecting some rain and thunderstorms late, late on tonight or even early Friday morning here in Spokane. Like I said, the temperatures will be in the 70s today, but this is the heat and the energy and the fuel that will be used in the form of some of those thunderstorms as we do have this storm system that is working very quickly through the area for the afternoon and evening hours. So we'll be keeping tabs on those thunderstorms as they develop. Could be as early as 5 o'clock, but more likely after 7 or 8 for the early evening hours. The Memorial Day weekend, cooler and chances for showers on all three days of the three-day weekend.